Welcome to the basic egger video. Today we're going to cook a pizza on the big green egg. The egg does a great brick oven style pizza and I highly recommend that you get a pizza stone for your egg. Now I'm still trying to master working with the pizza dough so until I do that I'm going to use a pre-made crust. As an alternative when you're entertaining one thing that's fun to do is get the smaller size pre-made crusts, set up a topping bar and let your guest make their own individual personal pizza. The big green egg large size stone will fit three personal size pizzas at once but if you really want to crank out more than one at a time, there is a double-decker pizza stone available for the egg, although the only place I've seen it is the Johns Creek Ace Hardware in northern Atlanta. Okay, the first thing I'm cutting up here, this is actually one of my favorite uh, pizza toppings. It looks on the, the pizza like sausage, but these are actually chicken teriyaki meatballs that I purchased at Costco. And they make a great substitute for Italian sausage on, on a pizza. Okay, next ingredient we're going to put on some yellow, cut up some yellow bell pepper. So I'll take our pizza crust and brush on some olive oil, just a little bit to give it a little light coat. Okay, so we've given that a light coat of olive oil, and we're going to put about four large serving spoon size, size of the pizza sauce. Work that around a little bit and maybe need a little bit more. All right, now that we have our sauce on, we're going to put about half of our mozzarella cheese on. Now that we've got some of the cheese on, we're going to put on some of our toppings. We'll put some peppers on here. Some of our chicken meatballs. A couple of few slices of pepperoni. Alright, we'll cut up some pine. We're gonna put some pineapple on the pizza also. All right, we're all ready to go on the grill. Okay, for the pizza, we have the plate setter in the legs up position, and then we have the cooking grate and the big green egg pizza stone. The egg is at 450 degrees and the pizza stone's been heated up. One key step here is to sprinkle a little cornmeal just to keep the crust from sticking, at the, sticking, sticking to the stone. Then we're gonna take our pizza on the, just slide it off the peel onto the pizza stone. And I'm going to take a little melted butter. Oh, we're going to take a little melted butter here and brush this onto the crust, the edge of the crust. And that's all we'll need to do until it's ready to take off the egg. All right, we're going to check on our pizza. It's been on the egg at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. It should be done. Give it a little burp here. Oh yeah, we're looking good here. We got a little, little crispiness to the crust here. This is looking just right. Let's go ahead and just put our peel in here. And here we have a pizza off the big green egg. I hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.